Happy September 1st, everybody. Today's lesson for the Healing Box Project is a, a song made famous by the Allman Brothers, Statesboro Blues. It's a little variation of a 12-bar blues progression, this time in the key of D. Now, there's some things that you can do in the key of D that you can't do in other keys. Uh, getting used to things that you can do in certain keys uh, is something that will be helpful for you down the road. Like there's things you can do in the key of G that you can't do in other keys. There's a stuff, little licks you can do in the key of A that are easier to do in the key of A than anywhere else. And so today I'm going to show you some things you won't find in a book that will help you get the sound that uh, Blind Willie McTell did who wrote this song first way back when. Let's check our tuning first, low E string. That's the sixth string, low E. Now the fifth string, A. Now the fourth string, D. The third string, G. Second string B and first string E. So it should sound like this. All right. Okay, now this week's lesson has is gonna have two sheets posted, one lyric sheet, and the other is a sheet that's going to explain all of the little inside information you need to know to play this song with chords that are not just regular chords and one main lick okay so if you just play it through the way with regular chords like for those of you who are just getting started you want to know the chord d g7 And those are all the chords that you need. The regular progression um, a one time through sounds like this. D, G7, D, could be D7, G7, G7 and D. And it starts over again right there. Okay? It's a bouncy beat, kind of a, a, a shuffle beat. The Almond Brothers play it pretty fast. The original tune was done kind of slow, like I just played it. And, you know, you can do your pinch kind of sound too, if you want to make it sound old timey with your first finger and thumb. fun with it like that too. Regular strum, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, D, G7, D, back to G7, back to D. Back to 
there. Okay, now all I'm doing to make that rhythm pattern sound is just lifting my fingers up so you get. Now there I'm kind of shutting it off a little bit. Now the chords that are used in this that aren't in a book, and you may find this easier too as a beginner, just to use one finger shape and we're going to move it. Now that's explained on the second page that I was telling you about right here on the handout sheet. It's going to be two pages this time. It's going to show you this chord D7 and this shape. G7 and this shape for A7. And I'm going to show them to you right now like this. If you put your second finger and you're going to lead with your second finger today on these three chord, it's the same shape, but the, the reason I'm saying you're going to lead with this is because your second finger is going to play the bass note of the chord, which is the name of the chord. Okay? You're going to go to the fifth string, fifth fret with your second finger. Then your first finger is going to be on the fourth string, fourth fret. And your third finger is going to be on the third string, fifth fret. So you see that shape right there is like D7. And this chord we're playing right here, right now, with these three strings is D7, only with three chords. It kind of insinuates that there's another note in there, but you can hear it like this. barbershop quartet kind of sound, only it's a trio. And here's D7 down here. But what's cool about this shape is you can move it like this. That's D7. Now we're going to go to G7. Here's the G bass note. Same shape, first, uh, second fingers on the bass note G, first fingers on the fifth string, second fret, and then your third finger goes on the fourth string, third fret. So it's the same shape, just over one string and down two frets. So that's just kind of a low G7 sound like this. straight across my first my second fingers on the A note bass string fifth fret first finger is on the fifth string fourth fret and my third finger is on the fourth string fifth fret that's that same shape down two frets of G7 and back down one string and up so get back to D7 Okay, so here's what the progression sounds like just with these little chords. Now look, I'm going down, 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 down. Same shape. is the next thing we're going to do now. And it is explained at the uh, bottom of both sheets. On the lyric sheet, it's down here at the very bottom, and the lick simply says, 
the names of the notes, A, C, A, C, D. And then it, under that it shows you the fret numbers, open, fifth string, third fret, open, same string, back to the third fret, and then the fifth fret. Now the count is one, two, three, and four triplet one, and four triplet one, two, three, 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 takes us to the next cool little thing about this song, okay? There's other places, of course, on the neck that you can play these chords. D7, G7, and A7. So if you're playing up here on the, the, the D7, the first chord, if you lay your third finger across the first three strings, now you have the D9 chord. <laughs> I want to play G as a bar chord, I could play G7 like this and add my little finger on a second string, fifth fret, and I get this chord G6. Okay, here's G7, here's G6, and I'll move it up one more little finger. G7. Now that's a bar chord with a seventh shape. For those of you that have been playing for a while, that's G7. It's a simply the chord E7 moved up the neck. There's E7, the regular chord, switching around and moving it up so that you can bar across the third fret. There's G7 like that. So I can go from D9, G7, add a little finger. Six, back to the D. You can move this chord too. Move it. Back to D. Here's A7 on the 5th fret. 3rd fret, G7. Back to D9. So that's the second way to do it with the ninth chord, G7 as a bar chord, A7 as a bar chord, and you can add your little finger then, second string, two frets above your first finger on the second string, and you'll have the sixth chord. All right. Now, some other little things that you can do with that is take that ninth chord, and it tells me about it right here on the second handout sheet. 
where you can take that D9 shape, keep that same shape, and just move it. So all your chords are going to be ninth chords. It's going to sound like this. Here's D9. I've got my first fin second finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Then my first finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. So it's kind of like the shape of the G, you know, it's that, and it's that D7 shape but I'm covering three strings out here. If I can only cover two, it's okay if you miss the first string. It's the inside four strings that you really want. This note can reach across to the alternate bass note. That's an alternate bass, so there's another little thing you can do. But I'm gonna take this D9 and move it up to G9 on the 10th fret. Back then to the fifth fret, I'm going by my second finger as the lead note, lead finger. Then I'm going to go to the twelfth fret. Now, if you don't have a cutaway guitar, you can still reset because that's right up against the body of your, your guitar. Your third finger is covering the first three strings. This is on the fifth string, same fret. See, that's kind of like crossing over that finger. So that's a little tricky. And then this note right here, you have to make a tunnel with this finger so that that note goes underneath there to your first finger there. So you got to get right up on top of it. That's why if you think about it as a D7 and then lay that finger down, lay that third finger down like that, you'll get it. So here, here's the progression with all ninth chords. One, two, three, four. another variation okay you can also play the whole thing with bar chords up and down the neck here's D way up here on the 10th fret G on the 3rd fret back to D on the 10th fret bar chord That song it really doesn't go back to the back to the five chord or the A at the end. It kind of insinuates a little bit. Somebody in the band might might do that. But this is really a slide guitar song. So the, for those of you that are have been playing for a while, you could take your slide and go across the seventh fret, the second, third, and fourth string together right there are a D chord. It sounds like this. There's your D. And then open. There's G. Back to D. Back to G. 12th fret. 12th fret. Back to 7. Then you gotta get an A. Second fret or fourteenth fret to G to D.
Now, there's some ideas for you to play in the key of D. And I've got a slow version of this queued up so we can play along with it, okay? Let me get this going for us. Here we go. You're going to hear this little lick at the beginning.
Same time, same place. Take care.